Dear God, thank you for this, for this day, for this time together, Lord, that we can come together and finally, finally seal our marriage up. Um, we can join together as one, Lord. I thank you for the friends and the family that are, are around with us today to help us, Lord, to, to be with us and then to continue on with our journey, Lord. Flo, how amazing is this? The day that we never thought would come has finally arrived. I finally get to marry my best friend and I'm so excited for the life God has planned for us together. I don't say this enough but thankful for the impact you've had on my life and I wouldn't be the man I am today without you. We've had so many amazing adventures these past few years and I'm so excited to continue adventuring with you. I can't believe that our day is finally here. I'm so grateful to be standing beside you surrounded by all the people we love, about to become your wife. Lord, I thank you for this beautiful, beautiful day and the, the weather and all the details that have come together. And I thank you for the beautiful people that have been able to surround us with so much love and brought so much joy to us. Oh, I thank you for the beautiful man that's about to become my husband. I thank you for how you've prepared him for this day and um, how we're ready to step into this next step with you. I pray that today may just be, we'll be able to just bring some joy and light to other people around us and really, really show your love through our day to other people. Flo and Ethan, welcome to your wedding. You both look fantastic and what a fantastic day to get married. And love will protect, love always hopes, and love still believes even when you don't. Because love is right here, love is the light, love is the way, the truth and the life. So when I heard that Ethan was chasing after my daughter, <laughs> I thought I'd better have a man-to-man -man chat. I carefully planned what I was going to say to this new young suitor. We hopped out of the car, and before I could tie my shoelaces, uh, he was gone. In all of our years of friendship, I think that first night that we met was the least prepared I've ever seen Flo. After five minutes, of knowing each other, she asked me to help her make her toga. If I had known that four years later I would be helping Flo get dressed into a very different white dress, I don't know if I would have believed it. I did get a little worried when you started talking about books, Roy. Where I thought that was going, one of the tests that Roy has put the boyfriends of Izzy and Flo through is he has given them a book to read and report back on. Three years ago, I was given a book called Boys on the Boat about a rowing team in the USA. I am one chapter in, three years later. <laughs> Father, we're so happy to be here today to witness the marriage of Flo and Ethan, to witness vows, to hear from your word, and the love of two people coming together in your name. 
Be with us today in this special occasion. And thank you, Lord, for the love that has brought Ethan and Flo together and their commitment to follow you with their lives. We love you and we thank you that you love us. And we pray these things in your name. A great marriage is not when the perfect couple come together. It is when an imperfect couple learn to enjoy the differences. Flo's number one favourite thing is Ethan Gillespie. Better than talking, good deals, maths and butter chicken, Ethan, you are top of the list. I could instantly tell just how happy he made her and that's how he gained Emily's stand for approval. Every time I've seen them together since, I see the love that they have for each other grow. I've also seen them each grow as people together. I can see the positive influence each has on the other's lives, which shows just how well that they are matched. You are so incredibly hardworking, passionate, dedicated and inspiring. I promise to be your number one supporter in everything you do. I promise to respect you appreciate you, and listen to you. I promise to continue to love and care for you. I promise to lead us just as Christ leads me. I promise to continue laughing with you, dancing with you, and singing, although pretty badly, with you. Yeah!